Hi there YouTube, I am here with a brow comparison and I am comparing the Anastasia Dip Brow in medium brown and the Ulta Brow Pomade in medium brown. The Ulta Brow Pomade is on my left eyebrow and the Anastasia Dip Brow is on my right eyebrow. The Anastasia Dip Brow is just a little bit darker than the Ulta Pomade, but I'm going to show you me applying these and letting you know my thoughts and my feelings on these brow products, letting you know how I feel about them and which one I prefer. So if you want to see the comparison of these going on my eyebrows, and if you want to hear my thoughts, then just stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, I have all my makeup done, but I do not have my eyebrows done. I wanted to do a try on, just letting you see how the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown compared to the Ulta Brow Pomade in medium brown looks. Now, I have already formed an opinion on these. I would say skip the Anastasia Dip Brow and go for the Ulta Brow Pomade. I think this goes on a lot better. Um, this to me is, maybe it's just because it's too wet, it's too new. I'm not certain, but I know that I really prefer the Ulta Brow Pomade. Well, one, because it's cheaper, it's $10. You can always use coupons in the Ulta brand. The Anastasia Dip Brow, you have to wait until it goes on sale. You have to wait for some kind of prestige coupon. But I know for a fact that I prefer the Ulta Brow Pomade. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how it goes on my brows. I just feel like when I put it on my brows, the Ulta Brow Pomade goes on and I'm able to work with it a lot easier than the Anastasia one. So the Anastasia one, I'm going to go ahead and put on. I would say my right brow is my easier brow and I don't have a clean, um, I'm just using the brush that I've been using for a while, and that's just this Wet n Wild angled brush, so I'm going to go ahead and use that, dipping it into the Anastasia Dip Brow, and I'm going to put it on, and like I said, my right brow, I'll call my easier brow, because this one I actually have a tail on, so I don't really have to make sure that I'm providing a tail on this brow. The only thing I would say about this brow is I do have a, a pore that is an enlarged pore that makeup does not like to go over and stay on. So I have to make sure that this brow gets, you know, covered decently. But the color I would say is just slightly a little bit, um, green. I would say that the medium brown color from the Anastasia Dip Brow, it has like a green hue to it. And that's another reason I don't care for this. The Ulta Brow Pomade, I would say is maybe the medium brown is just a little bit too light, but I don't feel like it has that green hue. So I'm just taking this spoolie. This is an e.l.f. spoolie, and that's just what I've been using basically for this eyebrow. And... If I apply too much product, which is really easy with this dip brow because it is so wet, then I just take the spoolie and kind of remove it. But that's basically it. So this brow is done, and that was the Anastasia Dip Brow. The Ulta Brow Pomade, I'm taking this Ardell, you know, double-ended brush. This is clean. I haven't reached for my brow pomade from Ulta in a little bit because I've been testing out the Anastasia brow product to make sure, you know, to get my opinions on it. And like I said, I definitely prefer the Ulta brow pomade. The medium brow, I will tell you, is a little bit lighter um, than I would like it to be, but I like the way this goes on. I feel like it just goes on so easily and I feel like I can work it a lot easier. I feel like it's wet, but I don't know. I just feel like this is like a little bit too wet. The Anastasia is a little bit too wet. Like I feel like when you apply this, it stays where you apply it. I feel like the Anastasia Dip Brow moves around a little bit too much. So like I said, this color is a little bit too light for my liking. Um, but it's workable. So this side, I don't have a tail and I have to make a tail. I feel like with this Ulta Brow Pomade, 
I'm able to make a tail and it look good. The color looks good. So I do like the color for my tail over here. But I feel like in the front it might be a little bit too light. In the hairs it looks a little bit too light. The color looks good on me, but in the hairs I feel like it kind of sticks to the hairs and makes them look a little bit too light. But I really prefer this Ulta Brow Pomade over the Anastasia Dip Brow. So there they are. Like I said, there is a difference in color. This is a little bit lighter, but I don't, I feel like it, the color is a little bit on the warmer side. Like it's cool, but it's warm. It has that warm undertone where this side, I feel like it looks green. Like I just feel like it has a green hue to it. So I don't care for it as much, but that is what they look like. I'm going to make it work because I want for you to be able to see how my brows held up. And let me tell you, um, I think they both held up pretty well. Like I've never had an issue with them, you know, going away. I try not to touch my brows. I try not to rub my face. But all in all, I like I said, I really prefer the Ulta Brow Pomade over the Anastasia. I will do a checkup tonight when I get home. I'm going to do some shopping and stuff today. And I'll probably be about six hours later when I check up and just let you see how they held up. But that is what it looks like on my face, on my eyeballs, on my eyebrows, and I will check with you later. But you can see I pretty much did it pretty quickly. Um, I feel like having a dirty brush for the Anastasia, like having a brush that's gotten a little bit, you know, dirty is a little bit better because when I have a clean brush, I feel like the Anastasia Dip Brow just kind of slides right off of my eyebrow. So having a dirty brush, you know, I've been using this, you know, all week with the Anastasia Dip Brow. I feel like it just makes it a, a better application for my eyebrow. But that is what it looks like. I will check with you guys in a little bit. So stay tuned for the update. Okay, so I know this is not the greatest angle, but, and um, I look a greasy mess because I am 10 hours later into my makeup. <laughs> I am greasy because I am sweating because I've been hauling in Christmas toys and stuff like that. So um, anyways, I wanted to just show you that both of my eyebrows are pretty much still intact. And the reason I'm having to record on this is because my camera is in the bedroom, husband has gone to bed, it's already midnight. And I put my makeup on at two, like 1.30, 2 o'clock, and here it is midnight. So just wanted you to see, this side is the Ulta Brow. <laughs> okay, yes, I know that my left side, but it's your right side. This side was the Ulta Brow, and it looks really thick and really good. And then this side is the Anastasia brow. Oh, really? It's because I'm sweating. And the light that I have like on me so you can see some, you know, so you can see something is really accentuating my sweat. But this is the Anastasia brow. And I mean, it still looks like a brow. So like I said, both of these brow products stay pretty well. It's just, I prefer the Ulta Brow. I think the Ulta Brow Pomade is what you need to get. So, I hope this was helpful. Don't forget if you like me, give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It is really awkward for me to be recording on this iMovie thing. I've never recorded on my webcam with my iMovie. So, so weird. Like, this thing is actually on this side of me. <laughs> I've never done this before, so excuse this. It's midnight and I have been shopping. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Yeah, I'm a big oh sweat ball. Sweaty, greasy mess. But pretty much, you know, this is what the brows look like after 10 hours, 10 and a half hours. Let's do a wipe test. Okay, Ulta brow didn't go anywhere. And Anastasia brow didn't go anywhere, so... There it is. Uh, $10 brow, $18 brow. Just saying. All right, guys. Bye.